Okay, I'm going to show you here how to get the bones out of your squirrel meat. There is a lot of bones and I, I just put my whole squirrel in the pot and cook it overnight in a slow crock pot. And I just try to get all the bones I can and I got a bowl for bones, a bowl for meat, and then this is my metal bowl. This metal bowl will let you know if you missed any bones. So I've put some meat in here, got the bones that I felt when I was getting the meat off, and now I'm going to shake this and make sure all the bones and uh, shot, if you use a shotgun, you can find them this way too. So just shake your bowl. If you got one of these loops, just hold it down so it don't make any noise. And you can hear bones. So what I usually do is like panning for gold. I'll take some meat. I still hear the bone. Put it in my good meat bowl. Usually works the bone to the bottom, but hold this. You still hear that bone. You know there's none in there. Take a little more. Still hear the bone. And you just keep taking a little out. Oh, there's a big one in that. That one's in my hands. So right there's one. There's still a little one. Really small one in here. Somewhere. And you get the idea. You really got to look. It'll find small bones. There's one right there. Little bitty bone. Put that in the bones. And that'll get them all out. <clears throat> and then you won't have the little bones in your jambalaya your squirrel and dumplings, any kind of recipe that uh, calls for the meat off the bone like this. Um, I usually uh, just boil the whole squirrel and the meat just falls off the bone. It's delicious. I save a little bit of uh, broth to add to the, in this case, uh, jambalaya um, that I'll cook a little later.